When people try to break your spirit, steal your joy, pray against your success, pray against your stability. You know what happens and what's happening to these people are they are seeing the power of God. And they're seeing how he's working and, and working miracles and reshaping your life. Let me tell you something and the reason why, why he had things go the way that he did. He was trying to work and give these people a chance to change. And you see what I say about you having free will. A lot of these people had unwillingness in them to change. And so sometimes what God will do is he'll place you on these people's path, knowing how they are, knowing that they don't have a willingness to change, knowing what it is that they're going to do to you, right? Because his whole plans is to ensure that he gets you through. So when he placed you on these people's path and he say, listen, I know they're going to do what they do. And at the end of the day, I'm going to go ahead and heal you and pull you through and make sure that you get to the next level of your life. And what it does is when these people see how God still yet elevated you, progressed you and blessed you and healed you despite the lack of. I just said something. Despite the lack of. Because they had that big energy. When they were sitting up here talking and knew how your life was going to end. A person, listen, that's why I tell you about putting your finger on something and thinking you understand something. Just because you see the beginning of the process, don't know, you know, don't, don't, don't mean you're, you're, you're going to be able to tell or see or, or understand what the end of that process is going to be just because you see the beginning. A lot of people thought that they knew how your life was going to go. And so when they see at the end of the day how God still yet blessed you, how God still yet elevated you despite the lack of, I'm telling you it's going to convict these people's spirit and their souls to change because they're going to know that behind the scenes they was praying against you. They was plotting on you. They did the most. And that's why God didn't want you to didn't want to get you away right when you was praying for better days and praying that God get you away. What he was trying to do was bless you right in front of these people before he got you away from these people. Because he knew once he once he moved you and he progressed you, all that other extra stuff, them old relationships, them old friendships is dead and it's done. It wasn't for you to go back. It was for you to strike change within these people's lives heal so that you can become elevated and so that he can get you to the next level of your life based on those situations that you've been through. Based on those situations that you went through. And see, the thing is of where you are in your life right now, you're so much stronger and you're so much wiser. And that's where God wanted you to be. He wanted you to wake up and see what it is that he was trying to do. You kept crying and pleading for him to get you away. He didn't want to get you away until he had everything set up to you learn what you needed to learn. Until these people learn what they needed to learn. Until you healed. Until you allow and, 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 and you learn what you needed to learn so that you can grow. The power of God was all up in your life. That's what people ain't bank on. They ain't bank on you all hell and, and havoc and chaos in your life. They didn't bank on you being able to still move with a sound mind, to still be able to understand, to be able to be in a position in the mind space to ask God for healing, to ask God for guidance, to ask God for help. You, I keep trying to say it because I know I, I, I say it, but it's like y'all took y'all L's. You took your L's in the most gracious, humble way. A way that no other man would have done it. That's why you 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 being blessed. That's is why I say, yo, that when people try to put their mouth on you, it's like at the end of the day, when people result to talking about the past or result to talking about things that you used to do and think that they got your life figured out, think that they got you figured out. You have to go ahead and at the end of the day, check these people and say, listen, my sins are not your sins. My trials and tribulations are not yours. We are not the same. We are different. My shortcomings, my falls, my failures, my, listen, my flaws is different. I'm different. We built different. We made different. 
And in this season, you're showing people better than you can tell them. And, and the power of God is all up in your life to help you and get you to where you need to be while you're on this journey. He frees you from all the negativity. He got you away from the toxicity. He blessed you in front of all your enemies. You went from having nothing to having everything. Where would you be if he didn't fight for you? Where would you be if he didn't love you? But he did. But he did, and he do, and he always will. What he needed you to see is continue to hold your head up high, even in the midst of all these people who laughed at you, mocked you, thought your situation was, 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 listen, your situations, whatever it is, your life, what you've done, who you are as an individual. Let me tell you something. Continue to let these people laugh and judge and do whatever it is that they're going to do because God got something bigger and better for you. And he is going to bring it into your life. He's going to continuously bring it into your life. It's going to come in like a whirlwind. It's going to come out of the blue. It's going to come when you least expect. It's going to come when you ain't even looking and searching for it. Because the power of God is working all through your life. It's all up in your life. He got your hand all in the mix. He got his hand all in the mix. And what he say go. This is why he showed a lot of these people up. He showed a lot of these people up when it came to how he chose to bless you. How he chose to elevate you. How he chose to change you. What he chose to do for you. He showed a lot of people up and proved a lot of people wrong. So as you're seeing that, be grateful of how much he loved you to do that for you. How much he believed in you to continuously work with you and bring these opportunities your way. Because only more can continue to come. It's on the up and up from here on out. I promise you that.